what is up everybody welcome back to the reaction channel hello how you doing sorry you haven't seen me in a little over a week plus here i have been sick well i got sick right after i went back home to visit my family for the first time in years on the east coast and it was like nine degrees so i came back and immediately was sick which is never fun but I'm not sick anymore, and that is exciting. Oh, look at Barry in the background, keeping us company. Uh, so yeah, the fact that I'm not sick is great, and I've decided because of that to celebrate, we'll do another catfish reaction, our bread and butter on this channel, the glue that keeps this channel duck together. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, that being said, I hope you're having a good week. Hope everything's going well whenever you're watching this. Um... Hope your year, your 2024 is going off without a hitch. And uh, yeah, let's do a little comment of the day. I pick a comment from different videos. I write your name down and I add you to this wheel so that somebody can get a shout out. And today's shout out is... Never open this damn thing. There's nothing in that one. Let's see how many it takes. Let's go to the next one. Today's shout out is wow, why I messed up really bad there, but Melissa Rose. Let's go, Melissa. Oh, is that, oh did I try to draw a rose? I don't know if I tried. No, I think I just messed up and then maybe made it into a little rose. Thank you, Melissa, for always being in the streams and leaving a comment on the video. You're our shout out of the day. So, before we start the video, thumbs up if you like the catfish content. That'll let me know that you're enjoying it. Comment anything you want during it. Love reading all the conversations. All the convos that everybody has. And everything that everyone has to say. It always keeps me entertained. I read them at night. I read every single comment. I do promise you. I do read everything. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, the title of the video for this catfish compilation is Catfish Tattoos That obviously didn't go well this is three tattoos that catfish made their catfishies get and uh i'm sure i might have watched one of these in terms of like i've watched a bunch of these episodes on my stream my stream is in the description watch these live on twitch every friday so check it out but either way i have a memory of a goldfish i forget everything so regardless let's watch some catfish <laughs> Also, I'm so sorry that I ramble in the beginning of these videos. I feel like there's got to be 20, 30% of the people that are like, this guy is unbelievably annoying. Just play the video. And I'm sorry. I just like to talk, okay? I like to say hi to everybody. I just like to yap. I'm going to be honest. Um, And I do pause a lot. But I commentate. I'm not the type of reactor who just lets the whole video play. I don't really think there's any fun in that. I like making my own little jokes, make it my own little show here. But with that being said, let's watch some catfish, damn it. Just make a PSA. Stop getting people's names tattooed on your body that you've never met in real life. Real. Please. Over a year, and I don't even know her name. I don't want to know it's anything Jazz else. Jazz and it. Kayla. Hey, you guys. Hey. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me Jazz. Yeah, me and the ties, oh. I'm 20 years old and I'm living in Denton, Texas. A little Denton. over a year ago, I met a girl on a dating app named Lillian and she's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Her sexy got the, tattoo. Got the Gucci or is that Louis Vuitton? Lu Lucci Vuitton, Louis, v Louis v Gucci. And confidence caught my eye right away. Okay. Lillian is also 20 and lives in Bradenton, Florida. There is distance there, but that didn't stop us from falling in love and making plans to be shout together. Out to Florida, shout out to Texas. We talked on the phone constantly, but Lillian still wouldn't video chat, and she'd cancel Shocker. every time we tried to meet up. Shocker. Meantime, I did some investigating on my own and discovered Lillian had a boyfriend and was pregnant. Okay. 
I confronted her, and then she confessed Bruh. and told me her name was actually Kayla Johnson. And that's even worse for me because I just got Lillian's name tattooed on my chest a few months prior. Okay. If you are going to get somebody's name tattooed on you, at that point, it has to be, in my opinion, it's got to be someone you've been married to or you have had multiple kids with and are still together after a long period of time. I'm not saying long as in months. Okay. Significant other tattoos are risky as is, but when you have never met the person or video chatted, this is what happens. So now she's got the name of the wrong person on her chest. And that person doesn't even exist. Was pregnant and had a boyfriend. Which just makes it even creepier and weirder. Because now you just got the name of some random pregnant lady that doesn't know who you are. I mean, I guess, I mean, Lillian, you could hopefully just either A, go on Hinge and just desperately try to match with another Lillian and hit it off. Or you could maybe, if you meet someone named Jill or Jillian, you could maybe just get like a, you know, have your artist do a little hoop, a little hook, Jay. That's about it. You don't got many options or else you're going to get that thing removed. You should never get anyone's name tattooed on you. Oh, my. I have, I have a bunch of names one. on me, but they're that old. Matt, you know, my, my grandma Norma yeah, yeah. that passed away right there. So I broke up with her. But just a few weeks ago, I learned some new information that gave me even more reasons. Oh, to no. So now Kayla's not real. And now the double she's catfish. trying to get me back. But I don't know who she is anymore. I know it sounds crazy, it but does. though my trust went away, my love didn't. I need your help. <laughs> You've been catfished twice, but you're still in love. That's just unfortunately somebody that is. And there's a lot of people I see on this show. They are in love with the idea of being in love. They are not in love with people or the people that they are talking to over the internet, but they are m more so in love with the idea of love and wanting desperately to fall in love. That's what I feel. I just don't think you can be in love. And I mean, in love with somebody that you've never met or even video chatted with. I, I just don't believe there's that's, that's different. You could fall for somebody. You could like somebody you could crush on somebody. But to me, there is such a difference between being in love and being with somebody. Jazz. Disappear. Or jazz, man. That is crazy. A tattoo with a fake name. Jazz At hands. that point, you got to be like, ah! <laughs> what? Don't do that. This girl needs our help. She needs a tattoo removal. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up, Jazz? Hi. This? this is Neve and Kimmy. <laughs> She's so on guard from being catfished so much. Now she's trying her best. What if she's like, you know what? Thanks to you guys for putting me on the show. I'm getting both your names tattooed on my thigh. We just read your crazy email and it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Here's my question. Do you have a lot of tattoos? My neck has most of the ones I have. Wow. Okay. So you have neck. Lillian tattooed on your sleeve. neck? No, she's on my chest. Big. Big? Did you tell her you were doing that before? Yeah. Yeah, she was all for it. She what? Was, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. She was oh, like, that'd, that'd be cool. That'd be crazy. All right, so, Jess, what That'd be cool. Interests? That'd be crazy. I like to skate, like, roll. Oh, that would be crazy. Roller skate and skateboard. Roller skate? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Never knew I how to roller skate. I love all of this We're chatting. filler conversation. Yeah, let's I'm get to, to the tat. tattoo. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see how big this is. If it's over, well, I don't want to say six inches. This could get a little awkward. If it's big enough, then she's got to get something removed here. Get to it. You got your red flag. Oh, Can you no. see it like that? Yeah. Well, oh. that's that's definitely large. That's pretty. She's got the full eloquent L. You know, like the what's it? Kilo kilography? Calligraphy? I don't know what that. I see it on TikTok. People drawing like sand or something. <laughs> that's pretty big. It's, pretty big. it's a yeah. big L. That's, that's literally a big L. L. Like you could have told me to put on my finger That's or something. Huge. On your yeah. foot. That is a full it size is. tattoo. It is yeah. Full size. She was like, "I oh, wish you get each other's name tatted." I oh, was like, okay. The catfish I got this, it. and she was upset, and I was wondering why she was so mad. Like, 
And you told me it'd be okay, but she was upset. You ain't got it. Well, I have so many questions, but I feel like she some, wanted her if, to get a tattoo. Then she did, and she was upset. If not all of them might be answered if you were to just that sort of take us back to the bizarre. beginning. We ended up saying I love you and stuff like that a couple months in, and okay. I thought, okay, love is strong. So I said you can come stay with me, and it was supposed to be for my birthday. So on the day of my birthday, she told me she could not come. Damn. So. I was like, at this point, if you don't FaceTime me, I don't want to talk to you no more. And she's still not trying to FaceTime me. <laughs> That's when it really hit me like, this is not who I'm talking so to. Why did she get the tattoo? Because if they were only talking for a couple months, was the tattoo month one? It's not, there's no way. And so I typed in her name on Facebook. And she said her name was Lily and it popped up and she was, pregnant with the boyfriend and they gave full name and it was the catfish so was that's like, risky i mean that doesn't make sense you're with me so i talked to her and got her to face me because i wanted to see what was going on you spoke to the girl in the pictures and she confirmed that that's not you are not talking yeah. and that oh, you're boy. not in a relationship yeah Wow, why would the person you're talking to use the real girl's right, name? Right, exactly what I just yeah, said. That that's so silly. It's like they me. wanted to get so caught. that's crazy and wild, and I'm glad that you found her. But when you confronted the person you're talking to and said, hey, Remember, I found uh, One time, some when I was on Tinder back in like 2015, someone was catfishing as Andrea Russett, who was a friend of mine, but they used the name Mandria. <laughs> and I reported it, and I was like, Mandria Musset? Okay. When you confronted the person you're talking to and said, hey, I found the girl, Lillian, that you're supposed to be you, and it says you're pregnant, what did she say? Uh, I talked to her about it. I was like, this is your chance to be honest with me. And she eventually told me that her name is Kayla. Name Kay Except it's not. Lil Johnson, and like my heart dropped. Oh no. <laughs> the meeting of the minds. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Eve. How you feeling? Nervous. All right. Will it, will it be actual Kayla? Probably not. Yeah. It's her. Yeah. It sounds like it. You ready to do this? <laughs> Is she laughing? <laughs> Maybe nervous <laughs> laughter. There you go. Come on. All right. Come yeah, on. Definitely not the person she thought she was talking to. Not Jillian or Kayla. Maybe that's Jayla. Hi. Hi. I'm Cammy. Hi, Shania. Nice to meet you. Shania. All right. Well, nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. There's a lot to kind of clear up, but before we start firing questions to you, why don't you just give us a little bit of a rundown kind of on who you are? I'm Shania. Um, I don't know what to say. Are you in a relationship? No. Do you consider yourself in a relationship with Jess? Um, no, because we broke up. <laughs> we broke up. But I I do want a relationship with her. I always Why? say the best way to start a relationship with somebody, this is good relationship advice, uh, is to catfish them. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. You do that, you are set, they will, they will love you for life. Okay? They will f make them fall in love with somebody who isn't you and then reel them in. Oh, it works every time. How'd you do it? Like, why did you make fake profiles of someone that you're not? It was to um, get back at an ex. Always is for it some reason. It was nothing like towards you or anything. Like, you just came up and I liked how you looked. I gave you like a lot of chances to tell me who you really were and you still you didn't take them. Like, you could have told me who you were. I feel like I was just lying because I was just trying to protect myself. I don't really lie in relationships. I'm very truthful. <laughs> we were on the phone when I got... <laughs> I'm very truthful. Very truthful as she faked a relationship as a pregnant woman. Got this tattoo. You let me get it. You got but it. you didn't tell me that you were getting... Her name. I did. Her name. I said I was gonna get your name. 
Teddy. What were you thinking when you saw that she got Lillian tattooed on her chest? Oh, God. And I was like, oh, my God, like, why would you do that? Oh, no. I wanted to tell her right then and there, like, my name's not Lillian, like. Why didn't you? Because I was like, damn, like, she's going to be mad as Well, that would be the point of telling her not to get the tattoo because I think she's probably more mad now that she has it. She got a random bitch name tied on her. Like, so she's not selling it here. Mad, I said, OK, let's just go along with it, I guess. Oh, that's I mean, the, the fact that she got logic. a tattoo and that you knew she was going to also, do it. Cammy, as always, looks unbelievable. Is insane. And I haven't even heard you say you felt bad about it. Right. I did feel bad. I still do feel bad. Like, she looks so That's distraught. That's on her until, like, she get it lasered off or whatever she wants to do with it. And it doesn't seem too remorseful. That's going to take time and money. What you've been doing is wildly inappropriate and unfair. But I don't get the sense that you don't know this already. I feel like you know that what you've been doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. But you haven't said I'm sorry. Right. Jasmine? I don't want oh, it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, once, once you have to be forced to say i'm sorry because of a host of a of a catfishing show i think it gets rid of the i'm sorry it's like it's like if you there's a party going on and then you have to text the person and say hey i, I didn't you know how come i never got invited to the party and then they go oh yeah you can come if you want uh no actually i'm good at this point because now you are pity inviting me Hey, I don't like a pity invite. All right. Would I have showed up? Probably not anyway, but still, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> but here, yeah, saying I'm sorry, not going to cut it. First thing you should say coming down those steps immediately while crying is I'm sorry. If you just saying it. No, I'm truly apologizing because I know what I did was wrong. There you go. Beautiful apology here. And I do still love you. Oh, Jesus. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just lost for words. I don't know what to say. There we go. Great apology. Chalk that up to the YouTuber apology of the year. Bring out a ukulele. Hey, Neve and Tallulah. My name is Shay. 25 years old and I, I think I remember this one and this one makes me mad Pompano Beach Florida eight years ago I met a girl on Facebook named CJ this was a world well now your mind very creepy are you single first convo are you single yes now you're mine Oh, that's scary. Whirlwind teenage romance that had more ups and downs than a roller coaster. I know you help people who are in love. Well, we were in love. We came to a crossing road, and I gave up your hand. So in love that we decided to have a baby together. Oh, yeah, this one. Not good. So wait a second. Are they, I'm unclear. Are they met? Like, I don't know. Hold not on. good. But it all went downhill from there. You have Someone a baby. Had... You have a baby with somebody you never met. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. That stuff happened. I had to end it. Not the rain edit. Hey, baby, don't do this. But now things have gotten crazier, and I owe it to myself to know what happened here. There's so much to tell you, but if I wrote it all out, it would be a 15-page letter. Long story short, she never truly goes away, and I'm always looking over my shoulder. I need to move on and feel safe. Please, please help me. Shay. Poor Shay. So, give me the whole, just just give the me the whole story. Okay. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Yeah. Okay, so, um, basically, I- Girl on the couch, forget who she, she is. She's a guest host. Man, does she look comfy. She also reminds you, has anyone seen clips of, uh, and what is her name? A Drew Barrymore show where she like gets like within inches of the person and like holds their hand and like it's a very intimate show Drew Barrymore that's kind of how Drew Barrymore uh, sits but very comfy she looks very cozy maybe that's cashmere I don't know I don't know I don't own anything cashmere 
uh, because I'm not rich enough to own anything cashmere. Everything is from Target, including this Montana shirt, which was $19. I met CJ on Facebook in like 2014. Yeah, eight years is a long time. Yeah. She was like messaging me a few times, like, hey, never good off Facebook. And I was like, oh, she's really pretty. Then we moved on to exchanging numbers. If you get a random Facebook message from somebody that's a model, it's not. I'll just say that. After that, we talked on the phone like the following day when I was leaving school. Oh, that all went pretty quick. Yeah, and we instantly just connected. Where is she from? Georgia. Okay. So I met her family about three months into the relationship. Online, not in person. Yes, online. Okay. I met her mom and her sister, Asia. And her sister actually was like texting me one day and was like, if you love CJ, like you say, oh, my you lights went off. her name on you. So I ended up tatting her name on my chest. Yep, good start. And then I called her and sent her the picture while we were on the phone. And oh. these lights are going to follow up and then these are going to shut off. I could all, I could turn them on, but I'm going to be too lazy to do it. Like you tattooed a girl's name on your chest that you'd never met, never FaceTimed with. Mm -hmm. Never FaceTimed is crazy. Didn't even know it was real. Back to back people that have never even FaceTimed each other. Okay, not even a Skype, not even a a a, a, a Discord and Uvu. You never matched on Omegle. Rest in peace, Omegle, by the way. Oh, final lights. This is because I got to go turn them on myself so you could see how long it took me to turn each one on. Oh man, should I turn them on? I feel like maybe I should. I could turn this one on very easily. I don't want the ambiance to go away for you guys. I want you guys to be happy watching this. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. Let me turn the other ones on. I'm committed. I'm committed to the vibes. Yeah, I got to wait for the next, the last ones to shut off. It's got to be within 10 seconds. Let's see if I can predict it. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was probably so loud that I made that noise. Okay, you know what? Can we get it going here? Maybe they won't shut off. The second I sit down, they're going to shut off, aren't they? And ex oh my God, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Second I sit down. All right, look, the things I do for you guys, okay? I'm barefoot. Nobody look at the dogs, all right? Ugh. All right, that's for you guys, okay? That's maximum effort. All right, back to Porsche here. Yes. I was in love with her, you know? But why would you even listen to the sister? I was worried that, like, she would tell her... Imagine a sister telling you to get... Like, imagine you're dating somebody, boy or girl, and their sister says, you should get their name tatted on your chest. And then you go, okay. <laughs> These things, and then, you know, me and her would break up. Is it still there? Well, I covered it about two years ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay, a little rose cover. Crazy. Okay, so keep going. Yeah. So still within that first wow, year. A lot of ice in that drink, by the way. Crazy. Okay. Look at all the. I mean, that's about maybe fourteen or fifteen ice cubes. That's too many ice cubes. It'll dilute the. It'll dilute the drink. So keep going. Yeah. So still within that first year period, she sent a ring and asked me to marry her. Yep, that's also crazy. And let me guess. You say yes. <laughs> yes. Neve is roasting her. Like I wore it, like I was engaged. Like and you told your and... friends and family? Mm -hmm. That's insane. I know. And you've never video chatted. We tried to video chat a we few times. We tried. Time, but she would have excuses. Like her phone was broke or her front camera. I'm sorry, but like this is the, I feel like I don't want to call people dumb, but like if somebody, like, okay. You, if you needed to video chat with somebody for a job, let's say. And it's like, okay, to get the job, you need to video chat with me to do this, right? To get the interview. Easily you could do it. I'll borrow my friend's phone. 
I'll get a cheap little laptop. I'll buy a, this is the bit. I'll buy a webcam for $30. I'll go to the library. I'll go to the Apple store and log into my iCloud and do it there. Like you'll find a way. So when somebody says like their camera isn't working on their phone, first of all, let's just say this. Okay. I've had my phone. I've had iPhones now for, I'd say almost a decade. Not once has my phone camera broken. Not once. Even when I had Androids, okay, when I had a Samsung, not once did my camera break. What are people doing to their phones? Are they bashing them on the ground? I don't know. I was broke. She couldn't <laughs> see me. But you're still excited because this woman seems great mm -hmm. and seems to really love you and she's beautiful. Yes. Because we started making huge plans. Almost a year in, we decided to have a kid. So what was the plan? I had to like basically screen the guys. Like one guy I met, I sent her a picture of me and him and she would give approval. So this isn't like the online database for sperm donors. This was a live human man. So she she, she set her issue, up like, with an oh, actual you know, human being. You need to meet up with him. Have a and child. I would be like, I don't want to meet up with him. Wow. That's I'll definitely some out. fetish there for oh. sure. Okay. If you're making somebody have a child and you're a catfish, Number one, that should be illegal. There, she should be able to go to jail for that. Number two, that's definitely some weird kink, like the fact that you can control somebody's life enough to have a child with a, with a man, or you as a woman. CJ. Hello. There's CJ. Hello. I'm good. In quote. Uh -huh. Come on over, C CJ or CJ. Yeah, I do remember this right. one. I watched this full episode on my stream. Once again, come over to my streams or they fun. We watched the full episode. Tallulah, let me Hi, see. Tallulah. 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 That's a great Shay. name, Tallulah. You are and always have been CJ. Yes, sir. Okay. Is CJ really your name? Cause no. Cause I tatted CJ on me. Oh no. It's just a nickname that I gave myself years ago. Nickname I gave myself. That's not how nicknames work. You have to be given a nickname. My name's Tay. It's Tay. So, like, with the family members, like, with the Asia, is that really your sister or, so like... So, Asia is actually my cousin. Um, but my mom ended up adopting her when she was little. But she never spoke to Asia. Asia used to text her from your phone. Was that was her that or her was that, that just that, you? Yeah. That, that wasn't me. Lies. We use each other's phones. That's what me and my family yeah, do. That's the, that's the best excuse. We use each other's phones. Yeah, me, my cousin, and my mom, uh, we all use the same cell phone because that wouldn't be a nightmare. So you were, as I was talking to you, my cousin, she was, she was on X. I hate saying X. Can we just make sure that we always call it Twitter, by the way? Every time I get sent sent a link from somebody that it says like x.com, I instantly think it's going to be something like graphic or like off of a website. You know what I'm saying? I still can't. I'm, I ever honestly go, what the hell? Like my dad sent me an, a link from X from an article he read. And I was like, what is my dad sending me? Oh, boy, using someone's phone to text your friends is one thing. Using someone's phone and texting their girlfriend. I mean, that's the type of bond another. they had. Yeah, but also <laughs> it wasn't just bond. texting like, hey, what's up? It was like... Yeah, me and my family bond. We, we, you know, we, we text all of our significant others. Duh. And so how, how did she manipulate and blackmail you? Well, wasn't it Asia who said you should get the tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, because when she surprised me with the tattoo, I was shocked. <laughs> There's no way I'm buying this. Right. Okay. That's not Worst no lie way ever. you didn't know your cousin's sister had tried to convince her to get a tattoo with your yes. nickname yeah. that you made up for yourself. Exactly. Um, uh, Explain how that makes sense. I, she, <laughs> Neve got her speechless. I did not. That was not me. I don't know what you want me to say. Right. Well, unfortunately, you're starting off to us mm -hmm. as a total liar. Okay, well, so, that's how so, you feel. Well, no, it's not how I feel. You lied to her. I did not lie to her. Never wanted her to get a tattoo. She surprised me with the tattoo. Well, here's a better question. <laughs> Why did you consistently do over unbelievably awful things to her? 
I mean, don't get me wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong <laughs> for what I did. Don't get me wrong. It was wrong. Don't get me right. It was right. It, I, I really did love you. My feelings was real. It just like when I saw you from my real page, I just knew you wasn't going to talk to me. So there you CJ go. Page best was created. Like we said, best way to do it. She wouldn't talk to me in real life. What do I do? Be fake, make her have a child. Specifically to contact Shay. So when you plan the kid and I did all those things. Okay, so I feel like me playing the kid with you was going to be my motivation to come out and tell you the truth. <laughs> because you're right. You can't plan a kid with somebody and just. Oh, I remember it away. They, they, they like get mad because they're like, I sent you baby stuff. I sent you diapers. It's like you made her have a child. And and it was and you were a fake person. You forced her basic, not forced her, but damn near blackmailed her to have a child. And then your argument is, yeah, but I sent you diapers. That's why when you told me you didn't know how you was going to afford things, I did my best to do that for you in the baby. I made it happen. Car seat, clothes, all yeah, that. I bought you a car because seat. I felt Thanks like for having birth. It was my, my responsibility too. But you came out and told me you didn't want me to be a part of your child's life because you didn't want your daughter confused. And you felt like her real father was supposed to be a part of her life. It hurted me. You know, it hurted me bad. That shit hurt it. I still did things for that baby, regardless how heartbroken I was. I mean, trying the to, reason why- Trying to play the victim is wild here. I felt like the father should be there was because my first daughter was not born when I was with you. If you add it up, she was a month pregnant. We only been broken up for a month. So technically, month. yeah, you did cheat on me. Wait a second. You're upset because you feel like she cheated on you with that guy? I ain't no feel like she did. And I have already stated, like, yes, I was wrong for lying to you about my identity. And there ain't <laughs> no excuses for that. And, and, and I regret what I did. But I really did love you. T from New <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> it's like the opposite of <laughs> the notebook. Like, just that, that right there. Playing the victim and saying, you cheated on me while you were lying that you were somebody else is crazy. Also, saying you cheated on me with the person that you basically made her hook up with to have a child for you is crazy. Oh my God. Let's see how T from New Jersey is. Subject line, worst year of my life. Shout out New Jersey. Dear Neve and Cammy. My and name is Latornia, Ibrahim. but everyone calls me T. I'm a 33-year-old nursing assistant living in Matawan, New Jersey. That's, Last that's, year, I don't know that everything is. in my life seemed... Young Matawan. Shout out to my Star Wars fans out there. You get that joke, a little Padawan joke. Seemed perfect, but my whole life was actually falling apart had a fiance and we'd moved into our dream house nice. but still something just didn't feel right then about a year ago i met a guy named ibrahim on facebook ibrahim he slid into my dm ibrahim ibrahim lincoln president we were just friends and nothing more. Yeah, I never believe that. But as the months passed and things with my fiance grew rocky, I began leaning on Ibrahim emotionally. He became my best friend. Uh -oh. I'm not proud to admit it, but I started to have feelings for him. Soon after, I found out my fiance wasn't the man I had thought he was. My heart was broken, but I also realized I no longer had to hold back from Ibrahim. He's already kind of starting off on a rocky note, though, because it's like you were upset that your fiance wasn't who you thought they were, but then also, you know, kind of behind the scenes were, you know, with somebody else. It's our, it's still kind of a tough way to start it off, you know. We took our relationship to the next level uh, hey, and stuff started happens. dating. I thought he would jump at the chance to meet me, but I still haven't met or video chatted, even though he lives in my area. Oh no. I can't understand why he's not pushing as hard as I am for us to be together. Ibrahim says that he loves me, but he won't meet. Is it because he's hiding something from me? I'd appreciate if you- Yes, because if you love somebody and they live 
10 hours away, you'll figure it out. I feel like a lot of you guys watching this have had a long distance relationship or are in one currently. I myself was in a long distance relationship. And when you care about somebody, you will fly on a plane. So if somebody is 20 minutes from you and you love them, not only would you be seeing them, but you would, I mean, you would walk, you would ride a bike, you'd rent a bird scooter, not an actual bird. Although that'd be cool, or like rent like a condor or an eagle. You find a way to see that person. That's like, that's always what I say with these. Like, it's pretty obvious to me when someone's a catfish or there's something going on. Because if you really love somebody and you really feel some type of way, especially in that early honeymoon phase... And all you want to do is just be with that person, just be around them, experience them, you know, know their intricacies and like, you'll find a way. Just know that like, if somebody cares about you and they're making excuses, they don't care about you as much as they say, because if they did, they would find a way. That is my, that's just how I feel. I, I just believe that with every fiber of my soul. And if you have an issue where somebody says they love you, but they won't meet you, I'm sorry, but that's not love. <laughs> it's just not. I hope you don't mind my little rants here, by the way. I'm very insecure about myself when I do these things. I feel like, I feel like everyone just skips ahead, which you can do, and I'm not mad if you do that, but I, I guess it is my channel. I guess some people like to hear what I have to say. I'm sorry for elongating these videos. I just enjoy talking about things. Help me figure out what's going on. Thank you, T. For a reason. So he told me that he lived in New Jersey. Shout like, out to my well, therapist. That's a good I shirt. I live in New Jersey. So what's, why aren't we meeting each other? Yeah. The first time that we were supposed to meet up, he said that he had to babysit. And I'm like, okay. okay, you know what? I'm a family person. I love that you're a family person. Who's he babysitting? Yeah. I get it. He, his cousin's kids. Okay. I'm like, okay, his I His cousin's fish. The second time, he told me that his mom was in the hospital. Now, the third- That's a go-to excuse for so many people. I have re I've seen this show 100 episodes. Blah, blah, blah is in the hospital, whether it's yourself, your aunt, your grandma, your mom. That's so weird to me. I feel like that's bad karma and bad juju to put somebody in a hospital mentally, even though they're not like you're putting it out there. I, I'm weird about that. I feel like that's not good. Well, I've said it before, but like when people be like, no, nah, I swear on my mom, I swear on my dad's life, dead ass. And then they're lying. It's like, bro, why would you do that? There's something weird about that. I don't know. I, I think that's messed up. Time. It was me. Because things started to get real. Um, I didn't tell you guys no. that I told him that my name is Tara. Because on Facebook, no, Tara, my yummy. name is T. And he asked me when we first started talking, he was like, what does the T stand for? And I'm engaged to be married. Oh. So like it was just so much happening. And the first name that came to mind was Tara. And they're both catfishing a little and bit. And then later on, after he knew my ex and I was over, right. he sent me a text message. It was a picture of the name Tara. Oh no, he got the tattoo. Oh no, this is a nightmare. He got a tattoo? Yes. Oh no. Are you sure it was his neck? I'm not sure. Uh, you can't see the face, but you can see the neck. Okay, so you now- That's awkward. Potentially caused Ibrahim to erroneously get your fake name tattooed on his neck. Now, what could be a way to handle this is if Ibrahim actually ends up being real, and then the tattoo is real, and you love him, just change your name to Tara, right? Boom. And everybody is happy. Well, think? I've never asked him. Well, no, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's but... crazy. It is crazy. But he loves If me. he did. He loves Tara. You got to show <laughs> me this picture. I got to see yeah. it. Oh, my yeah, Let's gosh. see the tap. Mm. It's his neck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right on the side of the neck there. Oh, Tara, is that an A-H? I've never That's seen it spelled like that. tattoo. Yeah, that ain't no stick -a, stick -a tattoo. You told him Tara with an H? Yeah. That's not easy to fake. All right, I'm gonna save these pictures, the two pictures. I just can't 
wrap my head around falling in love with someone based on these two photos. Well, it's not the photos. <laughs> That's, it's... So... <laughs> That's so messed up. It's the guy. It's the voice. It's the personality. But I agree. So... Let's do an image search. I don't think we have a picture that's pimizable, do we? Yeah, how I could mean, I mean, that's such a dark photo? No how way. could that? There's no way that'll not, pop no, up. No, he's wearing sunglasses. He's not even looking at the. No. Mm. I mean, maybe this one. No maybe. shot. No, they can't. You can't. No. You can't right. see. Yeah, I was gonna say if that. Those are the only photos of him that she has. You honestly can't see what he looks like. Oh. Maybe that's purposeful. Well, you know what? Let's just do Tara. Neck mm. tattoo suit. Nothing there. Let's try something more specific. Maybe black man Tara. <laughs> black man neck Tara. Tattoo. It's a negative. Um I think he really got that tattoo. I'm starting to think that he might be right. Which makes me concerned. Yeah. Now that really starts to yeah put her in a tight spot. That is a real tattoo, so, and she's really in trouble. Oh boy, <laughs> that's definitely really awkward. Okay, this is a lot because now is he real? Number one, we got to find out. And if he's real, then she's got to reveal that that's not her real name. Nice car, little Mazda. Wait, One that's a white person. Out. Okay, I see a white person. Maybe they're getting dropped Let's off see. by uh, a friend, though. They look tall. Oh, my God. Okay, it was a false alarm. This guy is black. Oh, is it him? Oh, I think it is him. Where is that Kanye West? That quite literally could be Kanye. Kanye? Kanye would get a tattoo of somebody randomly. I think that's him. Okay. I think that's him. Oh, my God. That's right, so he's up. real, but now this is so Hello. awkward. Hi. Hi. I'm Kevin. Nice oh my god, why is he standing so far? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'm Neve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, a lot it's, happening here. It's him. <laughs> Ibrahim. Yeah. Mm, There's something going on here. Well, this is T. You look beautiful. Okay. Oh no. Um. Oh no, they're just gonna oh get my out. God, my Mine just went completely blank. So, collect your thoughts. Let me just clear up a couple things. It's almost more awkward when they are real, because this, I don't, what's going on here? You well, can sit if you, if you want. Thank you for or, yeah. coming. So, just to kind of get a few little things out of the way. Are you 33? Yeah. Okay. Are you a chef? Uh, I'm a prep cook. Okay, but you work at a restaurant or a yeah. kitchen. So, okay. You do live in New Jersey? I don't believe yeah. he's 33, okay. but we'll you just go with it. don't have any kids? No. Haven't been married? No. All that stuff checks out. Yeah. Like, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to lie to you. My first time meeting her, I wanted it to be special, and I wanted to take care of a, a few things. I was scared of rejection, and I just was like, I like how we talk. So, uh, I didn't want it to end. One thing that I'm very curious about. Which oh I can't. Please tell me it was fake. Please tell me it was a great a hood, sharpie. Is that she told us you got a tattoo? Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to show her like I oh, really God. do care, and like it was supposed to be a grand romantic gesture for when I do meet up, and I had everything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but like, I'm sure he seems nice. Seriously, like they actually seems like a nice guy. So I'm not even. But man, a romantic gesture by saying, "Hey, I got your name tattooed on a." Your, my neck before we ever met i feel like is a bit much but so far this guy seems this guy seems fine being situated like something special that i already did for her but you do have the tattoo yeah i do have the tattoo can we see that oh man oh it is yeah, real is it yeah oh so no I, this is I, so awkward let's be clear though like i never asked you to like get the tattoo and even when you first told me about it i didn't know like what to say what to do and i know i thought like after i had my teeth fixed show you and i like, show you that i really do feel strongly about you and uh it's going to be something special what what are your feelings towards t i mean i love her like i fell in love with the person i talk to every night the person that uh, it makes me feel special, like nobody else in the world. Oh no. Number one, I don't think she feels the same. I'm 
feeling that she's not about it anymore now that she's seen him. Number two, oh boy. I don't know what to say. Well, look, it took a lot of courage for him to come here. Got up to He's him, now though. revealed his truth. His truth. Now is a good opportunity. Right, so, it turned, so he was not catfishing her. He was just insecure, insecure about his looks, his teeth. I get that. I get it. I get it. Because it's only going to get weirder and harder if we don't do it now. That's what she said. He has a tattoo. Yes, the tattoo, there is unfortunately a problem. Oh, no, 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 me? no. This is horrible. I feel so bad. The band I, hate, I hate this. Oh, what is yeah, just tell him. This is one of the most real moments I've ever seen on this show. That's too much. Oh no. Just look at him. He's being really vulnerable. With his truth. We can fix it can it's a it can be fixed. Um, oh no. He asked me what the T stand for. It's short for Latonia. Oh no, Latornia. Is it my running? Oh no. Oh no. He could technically, instead of Ara, he could maybe do La Tornia. I'm not even trying to make a joke. I think it could work if they end up staying together. I'm so, so sorry. I was almost praying that this guy was a catfish and this was fake and this, so it makes this even worse. I mean, what do I do? You, you could have just told me. <laughs> okay, there you go. At least hug him. That's good. You could have just told me you know that, right? She didn't expect you to get a tattooed on your neck. Fair. Also, I will say, also fair. Like, you give somebody a fake name, I know that that's not the best. But the last thing you would expect is for them to be like, surprise, I got a tattoo on my neck. So I, this is a double whammy of, of just like, nobody, nobody's in the right, nobody's in the wrong. I love you, so. Wow, look at that. We still just have not a kid happy. and name it Tara. Exactly, <laughs> there <right>. we go. <laughs> I look, this is an insane thing to have happen. Obviously, you understand how heavily that was weighing on her. And to be fair, for a year, you've had this situation that you didn't tell her about. But look, in terms of all of the scenarios and the crazy thoughts we had about what could be, it's like best case scenario. I agree. I could've, that could have went worse. Okay. Wow. I'll tell you what. Man, man, that really ended on a bang there. I hope I hope that they stayed. Actually, let, let's see some comments. I hope they st they are still together. Poor Ibrahim. I agree. I agree. Yeah, hopefully Ibrahim's doing well. I doubt that they're still together, though. I know people saying I hope they're still together. Let's see. Happy. Oh no, no. It says at the end of the episode, she rejects him because his myth his missing teeth. Oh no. I mean, look, I, I know that looks are a thing, and maybe uh, teeth can be important, but it's like, you can get teeth fixed. I mean, I see people every day getting veneers. Oh, that's a shame. And then someone said he got his teeth fixed. Well, that's good. Investigating somebody's name only after getting a tattoo is wild. Couldn't agree more. Justice for my boy Ibrahim, man. What the hell? He was super vulnerable. That guy was really nice. Damn, man, so the f she rejected him? I'm a boo for that. I'm sorry, but, like... Yeah, wait, what did he say? Did she... Did I miss... Your thoughts. Let me just clear up did a couple things. Did I miss things. a... a, t a First of all, you can sit if you, if you want Thank to you for yeah. coming. So... This is 23 minutes. It's pretty shallow for her to judge him over something that can't be fixed. Am I missing something? Oh, man. Either way, that's a lot. It's a lot. I hope my boy's doing okay, though. That's a lot to go through. Um, all right. Well, that was Catfish Tattoos that obviously didn't go well. Catfish, the TV show. Another great little compilation from our friends over at MTV. Shout out to them for letting us react to this content and uh, not 
uh, trying to take the ads. So we, we support them. Uh, always link these in the description. Um, so you guys can check out the flub. So, but that's the, it. that's the video. Hopefully you've commented something by now. Hopefully you've liked the video and enjoyed this. And, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, I would love for you to do so. Um, it would mean a lot, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the love on the channel. As always, it means a ton. Every single person that clicks on the video means uh, the world to me. And if you're one of the people that are at the end of this video, you mean a lot to me, man. That means you're like truly a real one. And, uh, you know, that, 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 that's couldn't thank you enough. Seriously. So that's it for me. I'll stop blabbing now. Hope to see you guys real soon on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the catfish content and I'll see you really soon. Peace.